Well, it's a smoky, hazy day in Winnipeg, Manitoba, August the 9th, uh, 10 to 8. <laughs> really hazy. It's been very, very hot. We're in the middle of a heat wave. Unusual for us. Um, we get hot weather, just not usually this hot. Some flu flu arrows. I've been fooling around with these two longbows that I got from Top Archery off of AliExpress. I'm going to set this one down here. See? They ship in a nice sock. They do actually come with um, fur, rabbit fur um, silencers, silence, string silencers, but I don't like them. They slow the bow down too much. So I took them off. I did some speed testing, which you've seen because I posted it already. And um, I'm pretty happy with the speed. They're both 160 average. This is the third. I got a 35 pound and a 30 pound. Um, these are for teaching. Actually, I got four 30 pounds and one 35 pounds out of curiosity. I added some leather to this one. Right? Got a nice sound. I don't mind that at all. It's a long bow. It's 60 inches, 57 inches strung, 60 inches unstrung. As I said, this one's. 35 at 28 you can see and here's the logo for top archery if you can see that here on the bottom limb it's um, not bad it's black laminate it's not the greatest I've got string wax all over the thing right now so oh well I like putting lots of string wax when I start off and of course I added the deer skin and there's the 35 at 28 so that's this one, and then I will set that there. So then I also got a couple, well I got four 30 pounders. This is for students. I was looking for something that would I'd be able to teach thumb draw as well as, you know, longbow draw. I saw these on AliExpress for a very reasonable price, and the, and the more you buy the more reasonable it gets because the freight drops per item and the uh, price drops per item a little bit. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. So for students and stuff, I think it'd be pretty good. I mean, with my 15 year old daughter and I went out into the woods. My daughter was using this bow for the first time and uh, shooting off her hand for the first time. She's never actually shot off her hand. She's always shot off a rest. Uh, she's never even shot off a shelf before. So she was shooting off her hand for the first time wearing a glove and then she had a finger glove which I got to find a better one to fit her because up until now she's only ever used no gloves on her strings. It's her personal preference. I've tried to talk her into tabs and, and, and gloves and stuff so oh well. She finally tried it uh, and she did really well you know because it was her first time. Wasn't happy about the mosquitoes in, on, on the 17 wing trail and my 12 year old was um, Less than cooperative, as you can imagine, as 12 year olds tend to be, when she didn't want to be there and didn't want to be the camera person. But she was there because I made her go. So I should actually, these should be over there. Put those there where they belong. And I might shoot a couple more. But I, I was, I shot it a few times too, thumb draw on the 3D trail and uh, I am really starting to like these longbows. They're nice and easy, they're, they're not very expensive so for entry shooters I think they're a good choice. For students, for teaching, because I can teach thumb draw or I can shoot finger draw, though I personally prefer thumb draw. And with the speed they're capable of achieving, I've got the other bows, the other the other Turkish and, and Korean bows I have, they're in the same kind of same kind of speed range. So yeah. Not a problem. I love the way they bounce. <laughs> That's what rubber blunts do for you. 12 year old daughter was very uncooperative with filming. I'm trying to convince her to help me because it's kind of difficult for me to frame myself because I actually don't really know where I am right now in the frame because 
I'm kind of moving around. I have a rough idea where I am as I stare at the camera lens, uh, where I am and speak, trying to speak to you know, a handful of people who will be watching this. And I don't know what to do. So I'm trying to get some daughter to help, and she's not really being all that cooperative in helping. Nothing I can do about it. She's 12. So she's applying all the all the usual tactics. I've apologized to my now that I have children of my own and they're um, teenagers or in the case of my 12 year old soon to be teenager I uh, apologize to my parents a lot or actually to my mother since I've lost my father a couple of years ago but I apologize to him too when my oldest turned into a teenager um, when she hit 13 I apologize to him a lot too because I, I, I learned how much of a pain in the ass I was when I was 13 and my 12 year old is using all of the same tactics I use to get out of doing things actually quite funny and painful. Very painful from that standpoint. So, but going back to the subject of archery and looking for stuff for instruct for the purpose of instructing, I have to say I like how this bow is shaped. I like how these bows feel. In the lower draw weights, I have no idea about the higher draw weights because I don't have one in a higher draw weight. I have, you know, four of these and 30 and one of those in 35 so I'm tempted to actually order and see what the differences are just because you know I mean the finish is it's adequate it's okay it's like it's this is an entry-level bow and if you're looking for an entry-level bow just to, to learn thumb draw uh, or if you're looking for an entry-level bow just to fool around or you know to do the English war bow draw um, these would be good bows to start with. It's a flat bow. It's technically a long bow, not really, but it's kind of a long bow. Um, it's nice. They've done really well with the tips. The tips are quite nice. The tips are quite nice. Strings reasonable quality too. I use a lot of string wax when I start, just because I like using a lot of string wax. Um, yeah. I'm going to go grab my arrows and I'm going to do some English war bow draw. So I don't shoot the English war bow draw very normally. It's not something that I do. It's not my thing. And this is not an English war bow on any stretch of the imagination. It's just a flat bow that you can use it for. But it's got a nice long draw. And if you're shooting pole archery, this is the way it actually should be shot. Realistically. It makes a lot more sense to be shooting. <laughs> I love that bounce. <laughs> um, it makes a lot more sense to be shooting this way. Right? Way back here past your ear. And then up. Historically, that's what they would have done. Only they would have used not these bows. I actually don't have... Uh, an actual proper longbow yet. At some point I'll get one. I think these elbows with these arrows will actually work really well in the Viking challenge as well. Just not using the... Because it's 30 at 28, if you go to the warbow draw, which is way longer than 38, than 28, you're going to be too hard for the uh, hitting the Viking shield and not knocking and not breaking, hitting the boss off. So, I don't know. That actually is nice. I like that a lot. Here. Let's see what this gives me. I think next Wednesday when we're doing the shoot, I think I might experiment again. Last night we had a fun shoot. Only four or five of us showed up, unfortunately, but we... Reflection. I just love the way those rubber rubber blunts bounce. Uh, last night, only five of us showed up to have the recurve night, and or traditional bow night because we had these and my Koreans and Turkish and uh, other traditional style bows, uh, with the exception of an actual longbow. Uh, I had fun. 
Yeah, so three guys who haven't shot recurves for a long time were shooting, going through the recurves and, and these ones and thoroughly enjoying themselves and trying different kinds of arrows because most of my club members are compound shooters. Uh, the majority of the shooters are compound shooters. Uh, whereas it used to be where it was just exclusively, of course, sticks with strings. Uh, or in some cases, because some of the bows that they had, they're, they're actually steel or aluminum bows with cables and they were like supposedly 70 or 80 pounds which is like terrifies the heck out of me especially if it's a steel cable because like oh wow that would hurt archer's kiss wouldn't be an archer's kiss it would be archer's death anyways anyway it's fun have fun take it easy guys cheers